We are the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network. And many of you may know me as the captain from the News Recap Show. And, you know, that's, that's basically the main thing that we've done here on the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network thus far. But as I mentioned a number of times in some of the videos I've uploaded, I plan to always expand and do a little bit more, you know, even though I'm very limited in, in you know, financial support and, you know, very limited in time because I'm also writing a science fiction novel series and I work a part-time job and I help out around the house because, because, you know, I still have a good family that takes care of me in the New World Order Takeover because I can't find any work to take care of myself. Um, but I do have the knowledge to take care of myself if I were allowed to go out into the wilderness, claim a plot of land, cut down trees, build a house, grow a garden, hunt for food, get domesticated animals, you know, I could do these things if the world allowed me to without excessive taxation, excessive regulation, all this nonsense to control us. Um, but this is not the news recap show. This is the awakened show. Um, sort of what I'm calling it, or, or I'm thinking of a title for it. Um, you know, but basically what we've done, all the broadcast and special reports were part of the news recap show. Now, the reason I want to expand is because the co-founder, who I've mentioned many times and I've actually already announced this, has started the, the process of getting involved, of uh, putting videos up there and and of, you know, getting information out there and trying to encourage other people to get active. Now, he's just starting out, and it is a difficult process, I know, from, from starting it all myself. Uh, you know, it, it's a little abnormal and unnatural when you initially start filming because it is just you in a room with a machine that you're talking to. Uh, so it is a little, a little unnatural at first, and you know, you, you eventually get to understand your camera presence, and you always have to remember you're on camera, and what you're putting out there is important. And you know, the the, the co-founder's still getting his groove out there, and, and you know, we've already talked off camera about some advice. But uh, I watched the second video now. I talked to him after watching the first video, but then I watched the second video, and I noticed some similarities. And you know, I just had another key pointer that I wanted to uh, let the let the co-founder know about, and that was you got to be nicer to the zombies. And this this is really for uh, people who are awake. The news recap show is to get people caught up to date with the new world order and the agenda that they're after. This is for the people who already know most of that, all the awakened, the people who are awakened. It is the awakened show. Um, and and Change the Channel, who is another liberty fighter out there, an info warrior, uh, uh, does, a, does a special about this that's called, you know, it's, uh, Preaching to the Choir. And, you know, that's what it's sort of doing. I'm talking to people who already know most of this stuff, and instead of trying to, to convince you that the New World Order exists by presenting you with evidence, you already know it exists. What I want to do is talk about what do we do now? Now that you're awake, what do you do? What do you do when you're awake? So, um, I've already talked off air to the co-founder, to, to Brutal Lion, it's going to be his screen name, uh, you know, for when he's on screen. And, um, you know, we've already discussed some things, but I noticed something else after the second video, and that was, you know, like I said, you got to be nicer to the zombies. And that is these videos like that, you know, he does the brutal moment of the week which is going to be his, his, his show, The Brutal Moment of the Week. And, and because he's brutal lying, he's giving you his moment of the week. And basically, what I noticed is he's really harsh. He's harsh to the people that do not get how serious this is. And I understand it's frustrating trying to convince people to wake up, trying to get people to wake up, because a lot of people refuse to believe the truth. But you got to remember at all times that the, you can't be too harsh on these people because then they shut off from you completely. They're like, I don't want to listen to you because you're mean to me. You know, they get that attitude. So you can't be too harsh to them. You can be harsh at some points, but you can't be too harsh. Uh, and I feel you, you know, you know, just, just, you know, lighten up in addition to the other comments. You know, just understand that the zombies that we're trying to help here. The majority of them, it's not their decision. They're going along with the New World Order because they have been victims. They've been victimized. Their brains have been destroyed by GMO and, and, and fluoride in the water. They're, they're, and media and brainwashing and public schooling systems that promote a certain idealism. You know, they're victims. They're not, they're just like a zombie in a zombie movie. 
they have been infected with the disease. They're victims. They don't want to become zombies, but they don't know how to get rid of the disease. Now, we do. We were blessed enough, all of us who are awakened by now, for some reason in our lives, we were blessed with some sort of an immunity to this New World Order virus, this, this mental disease. Uh, we were immune to it for some reason, and, and, you know, our bodies and minds are immune to the stuff they put in the food and the water. You know, for some reason, we do not get infected by this. This is obvious. We realize what the real world is, and it's up to us to awaken those who are not immune. It's up to us to give them the cure. We have it within us, so you have to understand. These are victims, so you got to be nicer to them. you got to, you know, be kind to them. Now, at the same time, you're also going to run into pure evil, and there are pure evil average people who are not New World Order elites. The New World Order elites are all evil, but then you'll run into the average person who is evil. Now, I've experienced this before in my life, and before I go into any more detail, I'm going to do a time check. But again, this is the Awakened show. This is not the News Recap show. This is for people who are already awake. Um, and just some advice about how, what do you do now? What do we do now? So, you know, when you run into pure evil, again, you've got to remember that the majority of the people you talk to, it's going to be frustrating trying to get them to wake up, and it's going to take a while. Sometimes you've got to mention something, and they won't believe you. But then when they see something else, they'll come back later on and say, you know all that stuff you were talking about? Uh, it turns out it was true. And then you say, I, I knew it was true. I already knew it was true. You don't have to tell me. I was just trying to help you with information. And then they're like, okay. And then and you know, they, they kind of want to hear more. And you're like, well, you know, I told you about GMO, and you go look it up, and you found out it was real, so how about I tell you about NDAA 2012? Here's the deal with that. And you go, you approach them with step by step, and it takes a while, and it's frustrating, but, but you got to understand they're victims. They're, they're not blessed with the immunity. You have to help them get rid of the disease. Um, so you got to be a little kinder to them, but on the off chance you do run into pure evil, and again, I do it because I go out in public, my job is in retail, I have to deal with people on a daily basis, and any opportunity I get, whether it's through like a, a random conversation that, that talks about, you know, I can't believe the prices are so high, then it's like, well, you know, the prices aren't really higher, it's really uh, the, the value of the money's lower. And then they're like, yeah, I heard about that, and then you, you go, QE3, QE4, QE Unlimited is really what it's become. Well, they're just printing money off. And, you know, then, then it turns into, why are they doing this? You say, to destroy the economy. It's part of a new world order. You know, you, you steadily ease your way in until, you know, let them open the doors, and then you step in and say, here's the truth. Once they're willing to, to, to listen. Um, but again, you can't criticize them and, and land blast them and be like, you need to wake up right now. Because it, it is that serious. They do need to wake up right now. But we don't need to make them feel bad for being victims. They didn't choose to be victims in the system. They were victimized by the system. Uh, so I just want people to keep that in mind. Now, when you do run into pure evil, you can be harsh. You can pull an Alex Jones on Pierce Morgan. You can, this is what's going on, and I'm here to warn you that if you keep messing with us good people, you are in trouble. You, know, you can pull that when you run into pure evil. And I'm going to go over in my next Awakened Show segment uh, what it's like to run into pure evil with a personal story. Uh, so I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and as always, as I like to end my uh, videos, I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and stay safe, stay strong, stay free, and most importantly, stay informed.